Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Merlin Kingstone jacket available at Revzilla.com. So what you're gonna see on my left-hand side is going to be the Kingstone jacket in Merlin's lineup. If you are not familiar with Merlin, they are a new brand to us here at Revzilla, and this is a company that is founded in 2011 out of England. Their main goal was to give you pieces that look like British inspired, you know, wax cotton jackets that you would find in an old steamship from the 1900s, but they want to incorporate modern technology. So sea level armor to keep you safe in the event of a crash, while also including a full Risa Z liner to this to make sure that you are going to be guaranteed waterproof, as opposed to just relying on that wax cotton that you're gonna see their construction throughout their entire lineup. So when we're taking a look at the Kingstone, Think three season cold weather functionality with this particular jacket. Really more of a military inspired piece. You're gonna see buttons in place of snaps throughout the entire jacket. And as far as sizing is concerned, on my left hand side, I have Mr. Patrick McHugh, who is wearing a size large. Pat is going to stand at six foot, weighs in at 220 pounds, and has a 44 inch chest. His beard measures almost about five inches. Ladies, he is taken, keep your hands to yourself. Now we have him in a size large. According to the size chart for Merlin, he should actually be in an extra large. So just keep that in mind. You're gonna to wanna to size down one full size from what Merlin is gonna recommend for you. Sizes are gonna range from a small up to a 3XL. And with the Kingstone, you only have one color to choose from. That's gonna be the sage on my left hand side. Think of a dark forest green, if you will. That's really how this looks when you get close to it. So Merlin, like I, like I just mentioned earlier, is gonna be a brand that's new to us here at Revzilla, founded in 2011. And really what's cool about this is they've taken you know, a really classic look. They've got wax cotton throughout. They're gonna incorporate an eight ounce Halley Stevenson Scottish wax cotton. This is a very historical brand cotton. And they just bake it in with all the modern features you'd expect from a motorcycle jacket. So it is gonna keep you safe in the event of a crash while still looking like something that you can wear out to the pub at night while you're having a pint with your fish and chips. So what you're gonna see with the Kingstone, it comes in around the $380 price point, and this is definitely gonna have more of a military theme to it than the, some of the other jackets we've seen from Merlin. You are gonna have those buttons throughout. If you wanna look at something a little bit different, you can consider the Armitage. The Armitage is still gonna give you that 125 gram full sleeve thermal liner like you're gonna find in the Kingstone, still three season in functionality, but it has a slightly different look and a slightly different wax. And then the Rowan, the Rowan is gonna be more of a lighter option, still gonna be a full length cut to it, but not quite as thick and warm as something like you'd get with the Kingstone. So let's start with the actual material being used itself because the Kingstone is slightly different in the actual eight ounce cotton that's being used. It's still that eight ounce Halley Stevenson cotton, but it's gonna utilize a dry wax where we've seen a silk wax used in some of the other jackets, a dry wax has more of a refined feel. It doesn't have the damp touch to it and it just looks a little bit cleaner overall. So that's really how the Kingstone is gonna set itself apart from a construction standpoint. And as we start with the top, let's work our way through. So it is gonna be that full sleeve 125 gram thermal liner to keep you warm. And there will be a full Risa Z liner in this to make sure you stay nice and dry. You also notice that the collar pack, go ahead and just move that beard out of the way. Thank you, sir. You'll notice that there is gonna be that full leather binding at the top of this, nice comfortable option. You are gonna have those buttons that are gonna work its way all the way down over top of the YKK zip. You can go ahead and put your, your head straight again. And as we come down, you are gonna have covered out seams on the shoulder as well as the elbows for this. So your impact zones are gonna have extra reinforcement for abrasion resistance. And you're also gonna have CE rated armor in the shoulders and elbows as well. It is gonna be a safe tech armor. What I like about safe tech, CE level rated, but it's also gonna be a very comfort-oriented armor. It's gonna be flexible, it's gonna move with you, multi-use impact, and it looks the part. It doesn't look overly bulky when you see it in these jackets. As we work our way through this, Pat, I'm gonna hold your hand up for a second. At the cuff, same way we've seen throughout, you have two different snaps. You're not gonna have any kind of a zipper entry with this, so really clean lines. And again, it's gonna be more, of, it's, it's definitely gonna be a button, not a snap, rather, than you've seen with the other pieces. And again, no YKK zip, for your entry point for that. You can go ahead and throw your hand down. As we work our way down the front, the buttons, they will be just that. You're gonna have button closure throughout, not snaps. And I just wanna open up one to show you. 
What you are going to have here is there will be no liner for these pockets. So this is going to be a water resistant pocket utilizing the wax finish. So just keep that in mind. You're not going to want to put any kind of electronics in any of these pockets. You're going to have four top loading pockets and then behind the bottom pockets you're actually going to have fleece lined hand warmers. So you're going to have a total of six pockets on this particular jacket. Mr. McHugh, face sideways and throw the hand in the rider position for me please. So the first thing you'll note, you can see those extra reinforcements at the elbows at the shoulders, and there'll also be a slight pre-curve to the sleeve, not an aggressive pre-curve. This isn't gonna be something you're gonna pop on when you're out there on your sport bike, but a nice pre-curve that's gonna be comfortable for a variety of different motorcycles when you are in the riding position, yet not so aggressive that when you're walking around, it's gonna impede on your comfort then as well. Like I said, really on the bike or off the bike, nice cut to this overall piece, and it will be definitely gonna be a full hip cut length to this. Pat, you may face backwards. Starting with the top, you're gonna to see that leather binding continue all the way around. And you'll also notice you're gonna have a zip entry point at the back of the collar. So the one thing that Kingstone has that we're not seeing in any other jackets in the Merlin line is you're gonna have a water resistant or a waterproof hood rather that'll fit up underneath your helmet when you're riding the motorcycle to make sure that water isn't gonna push down through the back of the jacket. It's gonna work really nicely with that full Risa waterproof liner. The other thing you'll note, there's not a ton of branding on this. You're gonna see Merlin, which is gonna be stitched very nicely into the wax cotton. But other than that, clean lines, not a ton of branding, really working with the overall theme of this jacket. As you work your way down, there is gonna be a back pad in here. It is just that, it is a back pad, 10 millimeters of foam, not a back protector. The first thing I'd recommend for you to do is pull it out, throw it away, and actually put a real back protector in here. A force field size 001 will fit in perfectly. Finally, as you work your way around to the bottom of this, there will be one final adjuster at the bottom. And you can see it's just a slight expansion gusset, really working with that military theme, but there is gonna be another button hidden behind there. So if you wanna kind of ratchet that down a little bit, you do have that availability to you. And there will be a full circumference zipper with this. So if you want to zip this together with matching Merlin pants, you'll have the availability to do so. Mr. McHugh, please face forward and I'll have you go ahead and unzip for me. Now what you'll notice is those buttons are gonna work all the way down. There will be a storm guard on the, on, the, on the top flap for this. So you can see how the buttons are actually gonna, you know, have that extra layer of protection underneath that. So you don't have to worry about them scratching your tank as you work your way down. Full brass YKK zip. And then the 125 gram thermal liner on this is gonna be that really nice plaid liner. Still not a destination liner, but just a nice overall look to the inside of this. And you'll notice that there's not gonna be a mesh liner to the inside. The same thing that we've seen with the Armitage, it's gonna have a cotton liner, and it's gonna be, again, aimed at more of that two to three season cold weather riding. Pat, can you just hold the other side open for me for one second? What you're gonna notice here on the left-hand side, there is going to be behind the zipper a, uh, a YKK zip for the Napoleon pocket as well. So just a little bit of extra storage in there. And you'll also see an additional pocket on the interior of that thermal liner on the left-hand side as well. Sir, you may zip the jacket up for me. Now, keep in mind, there's a lot of different jackets in Merlin's lineup. The Kingstone is definitely gonna be at the top of the food chain, and it's gonna have that nice dry wax, refined finish to this, something with a little bit more military-inspired look. Now, if you wanna hear more about what other riders are enjoying on their motorcycles with their Merlin gear, you can always click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting Merlin jackets through their paces. If you have more questions for us, reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot us an email, cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Merlin Kingstone jacket. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.